Hey guys, today I'm going to answer the question of should you buy Modern Horizons now that we have seen the entire set. The set looks good, the expected value is very high. These are Star City game prices, so expect them to plummet from 50 to 80% uh, very soon. But that being said, at least we can look up the current prices and get a good understanding of what cards you want to pull and what is the expected value of said set. Um, now, let me begin by saying that I do like this set, I like the concept, but this is definitely not investable. And anyone telling you to invest in this product, I think is very foolish. Uh, the product that it most reminds me of is Conspiracy Take the Crown. Conspiracy Take the Crown is a very great, it's an amazing product right now. There was a time where I was buying it for less than $65 a box at Dave & Adams, and they would literally sell you a thousand boxes, and they would be really happy about that. I bought a lot of boxes of this product. You can see that it is one of the most commonly open box on my channel, uh, Conspiracy Take the Crown. I knew that it would hit. The problem was too much supply, too little demand. And that is what you typically see in an unlimited print run. They can continue to print them. Uh, print to demand is what they would call it. That means none of these cards will ever, the entire set, if you follow my other series where I'm opening lots and lots of Walmart packs, breaking even is really difficult to do. The expected value of a booster box of singles should be less than what the box cost. Otherwise, every single store would crack every single box because they could theoretically, now yes, there's shipping and labor and so on, make more money from selling a single, cracking the singles and selling them as individual cards instead of selling the box. But most game sell stores sell boxes. It's easier and the margins are actually higher. If the margins were very close, you would have people like Channel Fireball, Sports and more. Instead of selling those boxes to customers, they would crack them all and sell it to singles since they have that market. They're in that market anyway. So the fact that it is print to demand makes it completely uninvestable at this point in time. When there's no more demand and the print stops, that's when you'll be able to get these booster packs for booster boxes really cheap. It's what I did for Conspiracy 1. It's what I did for Conspiracy Take the Crown. It was what I did for Battle Bond. I thought I could do that for Unhinged, but Unhinged never got to the point where it never got like less than 100 at a big box store that you could buy several hundred boxes of it. So, but Unhinged had a lot of interesting things that made it special. This one does not. It's six ninety nine dollars a pack, 36 booster packs. Unhinged, you have the guarantee of the land and then the foil land, which will always be valuable. I think an unhinged booster box is around $600, mainly because the land and the foil land. Now, when you talk about something like the mythics and you talk about the rares and all this interesting stuff in the set, it is good, but we have to view it in the context of modern. So the power level seems okay now. So something like Ren and Six seem pretty strong because we're used to seeing cards enter standard than modern. So the card would have to be good in... Well, typically a card that's good in standard is good... is 90% of the time not good in modern. A card that is, 90, is good in modern is 90% of the times good in standard. Uh, these cards, in my opinion, there's a lot of bulk. There is a lot of bulk. I love the five land. I think the five land will hold value for some time. Not buy list value, but value nonetheless. Um, I like um, the planeswalkers. I like overall. There's a, a lot that I enjoy from this set. It's just that the starting price point from the buy list is way too high. It doesn't make sense to pay buy list price for these cards. The majority of them, like a two ninety nine card, will be down less than a dollar within the month. 
a four ninety nine card will be two dollars at the end of the month. A three ninety nine card will be like a dollar fifty. They're going to take a bloodbath, and right now would not be the time to buy it. So it is one hundred percent not worth it now. Now people will, will tell you to buy it because the quote price is high. I think that the majority of stores make money by opening these boxes first. They're first to market. That's something that Rudy does. That's something that other stores do. They get boxes early and they open them and then put them on sale and then deliver. So if you're first to market, yes, you're going to have a much higher price than a month down the road. Everyone knows that and everyone's playing the same game. Sports and more is playing it with boxes and so on. I think that any card in modern that will be reprinted is not worth, quote, investing in. And my opinions are very solid in that because I have seen Lily go down. Uh, in my contest, I gave out a free Liliana the Veil. And I was expecting that card to be $500 plus. But it remained at the 250 mark, original Innistrad, by the way, because it got reprinted. With the exact same artwork. Now, if it was a different artwork, I think that Lily would still be $300, $400, maybe $500. Because that's the iconic artwork. I guarantee you that all of these things will be reprinted within five years. Five to seven years. Every single one of the majority of the expensive cards in the set. The ones that you do want to reprint it will be reprinted. There's no. Back in the old days of MTG Finance. You could uh, pick any card. Any fetch land. Any shock land. And it would go up because there were no danger of reprints. Or there was a very minimal danger of reprints. Today, that's just not possible. This set will be reprinted into Oblivion. I mean, even... It's a player's game, and that's how you have to treat it. So people are telling you to buy this, investment. No, no, you need to hold. You need to buy this from the dummy who buys it from the local game store and then resells it to the local game store, and you got to wait a week or two. You can wait. Waiting will save you a ton of money on a set like this. This set is not, in my opinion, at, at $6.99 a pack, which is the MSRP for Magic Online, which is also kind of scam, that you have to pay the exact same amount of money for something that you cannot redeem, but that's neither here nor there. You are not getting the value that I would expect you to get. Because you have to understand that this is in the modern in EDH. It's never going to be played in standard. No matter how much you dislike standard, it is still the most played format, uh, including draft. This will never be in that format. So we are skipping. So in lieu of more powerful cards, we're skipping the ability for these cards to be more valuable in the short term for stability. But we're treating the prices as if they were going to standard. A lot of these prices, uh, even the twelve ninety nine, Archimedes Charm. That's not that good in modern. It's not twelve ninety nine good, right? Like if you look at it, you say, "Hmm, yes, it gives you options. Yes, it does remind you a little bit of uh, the one that costs one more generic." But man, it's not twelve ninety nine. So I would suggest waiting. Uh, waiting to buy this stuff is probably the best plan. Other than that, it looks like a great set. It's just a matter of when to buy this stuff. And the answer is not, not when it releases. Definitely not when it releases. Now, if you can get a box for a good deal and open a box, yeah, that's good, good on you. But these singles will absolutely be demolished within a month from now. I know a lot about power level because I played Magic for a long time. And I understand power level in terms of format. These cards in standard would be absolutely broken. But modern, they're just another card. They're just another card. And because they're not in standard, you don't have the ability to sell it to standard players. There could be players at your local game store who only play standard. They don't even play modern. Maybe they don't have a modern deck. 
if that is the case, then you're looking at a scenario where you have a limited clientele to trade it out of. Standard will always be standard. It's always going to be the most popular uh, Magic the Gathering format uh, from here on to the end of days. I like where they're going. I don't want the takeaway to be that I don't want them to continue this set. I think it's very important that they do for the health of the game. But don't say you're investing in it. Don't buy into the hype. And definitely don't click on someone's athlete link just because they told you that this was a good card. It's not going to work out that way. Great cards, just overall, not strong enough in my opinion. Not for the six ninety nine. Six ninety nine, like if you were paying actual six ninety nine, that's the price of two standard booster packs. Standard right now has shocklands. That's not bad. Bye guys.